Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Raina Ray, and we're back with President Brendan Gates and Vice President Megan Gallagher from the North Hills Association, Neighborhood Association. So when we went to break, we were talking about, you were talking about some of the changes that you've seen, not so much the changes though, over the years that make this such an amazing neighborhood to live in. So I'm going to ask each of you, what's the number one reason why anybody should come explore living in this neighborhood? So um, I think uh, the best way to set this up is <laughs> I, I watched all the other neighborhood interviews, and a lot of them, <laughs> they, they did a wonderful job. We were, they set the bar very high. Um, referred to their neighborhood as a hidden gem. And uh, I think we can make a good case with Kings Highway Hills, and we'll share it with Tilly's Park, the other half of Northampton, uh, that we are truly <laughs> the hidden gem of the uh, St. Louis City neighborhoods because of the fact that no one's really ever heard of Kings Highway Hills. We're, we're underneath the Northampton banner, so everybody's like, are you Northampton? We're like, no, 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 we're Kings Highway Hills. <laughs> and one of the reasons that you would want to come to Kings Highway Hills, for example, is one of the reasons that my wife and I bought a house there five years ago, uh, is it's beautiful tree-lined streets, the houses are in great shape, the yards are kept up. We have one of the best schools in the uh, region, let alone the city, with uh, Kennard. It's, one of only eight schools last year that was a Missouri Gold Star School and a National Blue Ribbon School at the same time. So that it's is a great place to that live. That is a good reason to live in that neighborhood. Yeah. And how about you, Megan? Well, we'll kind of play on that too. We're very school rich. We have a lot of schools that just moved into the neighborhood as well. I think Charter's been there for a couple of years and Gateway Science Academy, they just moved in too. So, I mean, now there's kids everywhere where I would have loved to have all them when I was growing up. We had slim pickings. Um, but I would say one of the biggest reasons that I stayed was I love my neighbors. Um, we're great. We all party together. We all have each other's phone numbers. We watch each other's animals for each other. Um, my dog gets more treats from my neighbors than they <laughs> ever do for me. Um, I bought the house actually across the street from my mom. So I gutted that, rehabbed that, put it all back together. And I was always asking my mom when she was going to move out so I could have her house. But. Uh, it worked out where I got it across the street. Um, I live with people. It's a short commute for me everywhere. I put less than 6,000 miles a year in my car. Um, there's a lot of walking places. You know, you can walk to Uncle Bill's. You can walk to Sandrina's, Schnooks. Um, lots of places to eat. We're right in the middle of all the South City neighborhoods. So playing on the hidden gem, we are like hidden in the middle, like right at the foot of the hill there and in our own little valley, I guess. Pretty interesting. You know, Megan, you said something really neat about the neighborhood, that you have a lot of first owner residents still there, and mm -hmm. then you talk about all the new kids right now. So that kind of lets me know that this neighborhood is built with generations mm -hmm. all in the same little area living together. So you've got a lot of older people, mm -hmm. which younger people need in their lives, yeah. and then you've got their children, and now their children, and then new people moving into the neighborhood like right. you. Right. Sounds like a wonderful place yeah. to live. Yeah, it seems very safe too. I think um, someone that didn't live in the area that came and picked me up one time, they said that they just kept driving around for a little bit to check out the neighborhood. And what they realized is they saw a lot of women on their own and they saw that they thought that that was a good indicator of how good the neighborhood was, that nobody was afraid to just go out and be on their own. Well, it sounds like a wonderful place to live. And I really like what you said that it's kind of right in the middle of everything. So it doesn't mm -hmm. matter which direction you go. When you live here, you're within walking, biking, and a few miles, yeah. not even a few miles, yeah. of almost anything you could possibly want to do on the South St. Louis side of town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Southampton just had uh, Macklin Days, and I walked to and from that instead of trying to find a parking spot because it was so close. And same thing, if you needed to, you could, I guess, walk over to Dogtown or the Hill or yeah. it's, yeah. Tower Grove days, anything like that? Well, you know, there's a trend that people are kind of moving back towards the city from out and about. So this sounds like definitely a neighborhood people should explore. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank for you. more information on the Kings Highway Hills Neighborhood Association, <laughs> visit kingshighwayhills.com or shoot them an email and contact at kingshighwayhills.com. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.